Hi guys, if you're watching this and the red live's not in the corner, you're, it's no longer live. However, feel free to comment and I will go back and answer. Hi guys, hold on a minute. Hi guys. Hi Vet. Hi Donna. <laughs> yes, it's been a while. Yes, Donna, I can. Hold on. I found my tripod. Okay, Donna, this is a half ounce container. This is a one ounce container. The gloves, they are actually weighed because they're a heavier powder. So you may or may not get full containers, but they are a half ounce in weight and one ounce in weight on the glove powders. All the other powders are by volume. So, but that's the difference. And I can show you. This, oops, oh, Fred. This is a quarter ounce, so. So that's what those sizes are. And I just dumped a bunch of powder. Where'd it go? Over here. Sorry guys. So on the cut from yesterday, Basically, hold on just a second, because I spilled some of the stinky red glow powder. That should be enough. Um, so, hi Lisa. When I am doing um, the drizzling, I don't do a heaping spoonful, but I do a spoonful of this. And if you're doing like I added the um, Tranquil to the blue-green glow, which is the first water area that glows up gorgeous blue-green. I used about that much Tranquil, just a little bit, and then the rest was glow powder. So you can mix glow powder with um, the other powders. You just wanna do as little of the color as you can in the glows, that way um, the glow comes through. It's not a problem. UV powder is not that the same way, just so everyone knows. So tonight, we're gonna do a couple of things. As I showed yesterday, I got the owl, and we're gonna apply glow powder with clear finger polish. And we're gonna do the same thing on this. And then I went ahead and I have a eight by eight, and we're gonna mix some Mod Podge with some glow powder because you can use it that way too. Again, the bulk of it is just a matter of making sure you're using enough power that powder that it's not going to be obscured by the medium. And Mod Podge dries clear, so generally it's not. I just gotta open it. There we go. Okay. So when I'm using the fingernail polish, and I'm gonna Pull you guys down here in just a second. Um, let me stop for a minute. I'm sorry. So what I just selected was the 738, which is the softball yellow, kind of neon yellowish. And it glows green. I selected the red, pale red to red glow, which is the one that smells. Once it's dry, you can't smell it. And then I also selected the new orange to orange to use. That way we have a nice selection. And, sorry, that was one of uh, my friends. I'm gonna bring you guys up. I'm at my new work table, which I love because I can do more things. And I'm gonna bring you guys down so you can see without dumping my phone. 
So, and I can kind of see the comments. So for this one, we're going to use the um, self all yellow to green glow. So what I'm going to do, and it takes very, very little. I'm going to use that much. That is a teeny tiny amount. And put it in there. And then I'm going to pour some fingernail polish. It's just clear. Any brand doesn't matter. Hi, Debbie. And literally, I'm going to pour it. So I'm not going to worry about this because I'm not going to use the brush. It would just contaminate it. So I'm going to bring it up here so you can kind of see. And it will be gritty. And that's all I used, just a little bit. I'm going to mix it. And like I said, it will be a little gritty, which is fine. Doing this, you do want kind of a thicker layer. And you're going to dab it. You don't want to do too much because your nail polish, of course, will set. So I'm going to take a small... And I'm going to dab it. This has glitter on it. And I'm going to take you off for a second, guys. Sorry, I'm going to turn it around so you can kind of see better what I'm doing. So I'm doing it right in here. And I'm just taking some and dabbing it. Because you do want it a little thicker. And I'm sorry, I didn't show that very well. And it is going on thicker. Oops. And again, you saw I used very little glow powder. It doesn't take a whole lot. And I'm literally just dabbing it on. You can also... You can actually mix it with epoxy and dab on. I just find it easier to control this way because it doesn't spread. I'm gonna mix it up just a little bit again, maybe. Hold on. I just wanna make sure it stays good and mixed. Sorry, not trying to make anyone sick. All right. So what it was is I could see the separation so I just mixed a little bit better. And again, you're just dabbing it on. And I'm just gonna go all the way around. You can see this is thinner area, so I'm going at an angle. This is an angle brush. And it's okay if you get it out of the lines. We're adults. We don't always stay in the lines. So one thing it is doing is it is kind of dulling the glitter a little bit, but that's okay. So we did that eye. You can see, almost ended that on you guys. I'm just adding, it's kind of hard for you to see. You can kind of see how it is thicker. And it does dry pretty good. So we're gonna do this eye again. I only use that tiny bit of powder and a little bit of the nail polish. And again, I'm just dabbing it on. What I have found is if you literally paint it on, it's not really thick enough to glow well. So that's why I dab it. And again, just dabbing. It's kind of hard for you guys to see. 
but I am making it thick. So think about if you were like adding texture to something. Oops, I'm not putting your hand in it. If you were adding texture, like snow or something, it's okay for it to be like that. And like I say, you can load your brush up pretty good. You can see it goes pretty fast. Now, once it all dries and I check it, I'm gonna try and do this with my cell phone here in a little bit and see how it glows. You may wanna add another layer. And again, I'm not the only one that's done this. This is not proprietary to me just in case anyone, I'm not taking it from someone else. When I first got glow powders, I did a Cheshire Cat and used them on the eyes and I found that nail polish just happened to work the best. So there's that. Yay, Debbie, that's awesome. <clears throat> I'm glad. So even though the eyes are white, I'm gonna make them glow too. Cause I just think they need to for perception. And again, I'm just dabbing it on. You can see, I'm still using the same that I mixed up, which was not a whole lot, used a teeny tiny amount. And I do apologize, it's just easier to hold it and show you that way I can get you down to see. I'm trying to get enough on there that it forms kind of a mound. Yeah, it's really cute of it. I mean, it's just a, this, this is from the Dollar Tree. I went and got that one and that one from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just using it because of course it's coming up on Halloween, so glow powders are awesome. You want them to glow. So, hi Cindy. I'm gonna turn you around for a second. So, we've done that and I'm just gonna set it to the side. I'm gonna take a baby wipe just because I didn't think to bring water or anything in because it's nail polish. Um, I guess I should tell you first off, don't use a brush you wanna keep. You can clean it in acetone because it is nail polish. And all I'm doing is kinda, I'm just wiping it off so I can use it again. So we did that and I used almost all of it. There wasn't a whole lot left, but again, it took a tiny, teeny bit So now we're going to do this one, and I think we're going to do the eyes red glow and the spider orange. I'm not going to try to do, well, I may do this after the fact with Mod Podge. We'll see. So again, I just take a medicine cup. I'm going to bend you down a little bit. Again, I'm just taking a medicine cup. And I'm hoping people realize you can reuse these spoons. I have a towel that I just wipe off what's on it. That way I can reuse it. And I'm going to take a small amount, just a little bit of the red glow. Put it in there. I'm gonna pour about the same amount in. And then I'm going to use the other end of my stick. Stir it up a little. I'm 
And again, one of the reasons you do a small amount is no polish will set. And you certainly don't want to waste powders and have it set up on you. So I'm going to bring you back down and I want you to note that I am, hi Melissa, I am going to do this over black glitter. So you'll be able to see. So I'm going to do this eye and this eye. So again, I just take it, dab some on, and start dabbing. You can see, like I said, it will dull the glitter some. One of the few things that glow powders will not shine through is a solid object. So if you want to put glow powders on something and then put glitter over it, you will have splotchiness. I highly recommend that you go to whoever, whatever glitter supplier you use, and if they have glow-in-the-dark glitter, you get that. And just, kind of like when you're doing your nails, just use your hand to You can kind of see on this better how I'm just kind of leaving it puddled. Hey, Stephanie. I'm using your favorite glow powder, red. Yes, I'm evil. Stephanie can't stand the smell of it. The glow's great. The smell stinks. So again, I'm just dabbing in my little container. And because this is a pale red, you are seeing it better on this. And I'm just dabbing it to fill in. And this is just, I found that if you, you can paint it on, it just takes more layers and I'm lazy. And I like instant gratification usually. No, um, no polish. I'm not using epoxy tonight. I'm using nail polish and I will use Mod Podge a little later. So, like I said, you can go in, just wipe off anywhere. So, you can see where they're drying. It will obscure the the black a little bit, but that's okay. So, hi Donna. I'm gonna turn you around. Sorry, I hope I'm not making anyone sick. But it's easier to show you what I'm doing by holding the camera. I don't have any of those fancy tripods that go upside down every which way. And yes, Stephanie, it smells so wonderful in here. So, the last one we're going to do is we're going to do the spider. And we're going to do it with the orange to orange glow. And again, I'm just wiping off my spoon. So, I'm just reusing it. And a lot of you that have bought a lot of stuff, I don't even send the spoons anymore just because you have so much. I am going to use a little bit more of this because I am going to use a little bit more. No, nah, i take that back. Use about that much, not very much. And again, Melissa, I don't know, but that is something I'm thinking of trying. Um, not necessarily the glows, but any of the powders, because um, I'm wondering if it'll work, especially with the magnetic powder. So again, I use just a little bit of glow powder. I'm gonna mix it some more. And that's going to be the last that I use this. So I'm going to go ahead and cap it. So you can see, oops, I haven't used much. That's where the line is. So it doesn't take a whole lot. And I'm going to mix it together. And you do want to watch because the powder will kind of settle. So you want to make sure that you're not just getting clear. So there's that. 
which is going to look cool on the spider. So we're going to again use the same one because I've just wiped it off. I'm going to pull you off again. Oops, hopefully the last time. Right now anyway. So we're going to do the spider. So again, same as everything else. Just dabbing it. And because it's on glitter, it does absorb it pretty good. I don't want to get rid of the hanger, so I'm going to kind of work around it. And those that paint far better than I do, you could obsess. Oh, Cindy, get with um, Debbie, because she was having troubles with seeing comments. And she just got it fixed. Oops, I made a mess. That's what happens when you're trying to look. So I did get a little bit on, and I'm not too concerned about it, because I will just wipe it off. Yes, I can see you and I can see your comments. So I'm just going to use a brush. Really more I'm pushing it back where it should go. So you can see it's fairly easy to fix. And I probably got a little too thick between the eyes, so I took some off. So now we're going to do the legs. And I'm not really going to worry too much about getting it outside of it because I will fix that here in a minute. And I'm just literally dabbing. I mean, I'm not pushing hard. I just messed that up. I'm just kind of smoothing the nail polish where I want it. And I'm going to do this side. I'm leaving it kind of almost like a, a little mound on it. That way it glows good. Okay. So again, I'm going to come in with this brush. Kind of kind of absorbs it. My boards are not secure, guys. That's what you're hearing, the little knocking. Oops, let me get you a photo of the back so you're not just looking at my hand. Okay, and the last thing I'm gonna do is dab a little bit, just a dot on the eye. And this I'm not trying to make perfect because I'm just going to let it be a dot. Okay. And I still have quite a bit of that left. So it didn't take that much. So I'm going to do this. Oh, okay. Good, Stephanie. I hadn't tried it, so I didn't know. So again, I'm just kind of wiping off the paintbrush. It smells wonderful from the red glow. So I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm gonna set these back down, both of them. I'm going to pull you guys off and see, I don't know. Is it gonna do it? Okay, so we're gonna try this. I'm trying to see if I can get it to charge enough because I still haven't found my UV. I'll get there. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, no, they don't shine. So just bear with me guys for a minute. Trying to get a good enough light on it. To see, hopefully. Okay, put it with me. Don't look at my dirty floor. Is it gonna glow? No. It is not gonna glow. No. Let's see. No, you can't see it. I can see it, but you guys can't see it. You can see that though. There's, it's not even showing that very well. Okay. So I'll just have to show y'all again after the fact when I can charge it. So the other thing I'm gonna show is you can add glow powder to Mod Podge. So we're gonna do a little test on this and I'm just gonna randomly be doing it because it's gonna be a background if it glows. It's gonna be a background for something. I don't know what. So I need So I've got two of my glass dishes and one of these and I'm going to use I'm going to put some, I'm going to put you down. Oops. Hopefully that didn't get real dark on you guys. Hey, Nanette. Okay. So, I'm going to put some Mod Podge in these. I'm going to stir it because it's kind of getting old. And I don't want chunks. So I'm just going to put some in, that's it, not a whole lot, and I'm not really concerned about it changing the color as I am about it just glowing after the fact. So for this experiment, I am going to use quite a bit. Um, yes. You can add paint to Mod Podge too. There we go. Hey Sue. Ooh, I'm getting hot, guys. So I'm going to use basically two spoonfuls of the yellow. And I'm going to use two spoonfuls of the orange. When I say spoonfuls, I'm doing pretty, quite a bit. I will have to test this a little bit more so I can give you a better idea. And for the red, I'm going to use what's left. So. I'm going to pull you down. Is it dark, you guys, or is it lighter? I can't tell. So I'm going to mix this. And I think probably I used plenty. And again, I'm not really concerned about what color the Mod Podge is because the Mod Podge will dry clear. And because it's powder, you do want to stir it good. So that's the yellow. We're going to do the orange. So it did, it did brighter. And then I'm going to do the red. And thankfully, no one sleeps in this bedroom, so it can stink. Trust me, for all you that have bought the red, I get to smell it every time. 
So that's the red. Um, because I'm not selling them yet is why. This is more educational. And since I don't have them, I'm not using them yet. So I have a couple of brushes. Horrible ones, but brushes. I think I have. I might try this. And literally, I'm going to take it down and push it down. But I'm just going to do swatches. Because it's really kind of more of an experiment. So, we're going to start with the yellow. And I do want it a little bit thicker because I want the glow to show. And it is mixed in Mod Podge. So we're going to do that. And all I'm doing is just wiping it off. And now we're going to use some of the red. I'm just randomly doing this because I'll probably put vinyl over it and spray paint it and do kind of a peekaboo for Halloween using potentially some of Stephanie's ideas for her wraps. And then we're gonna take the orange. And guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just doing it. And I apologize. I'm not looking at comments at the moment. So if you're commenting, I will go back and answer. Or someone else knows. Stephanie. Debbie, any of you? If you can answer questions, feel free to. So, and anyone that knows me knows I always use way too much of anything. So I'm going to take some more of the glow, the yellow, and kind of go in between. And I'm okay if it mixes. In fact, I don't care if it mixes at all. I'm going to use a little bit more red. And I confess I am not a painter. So, I'm just randomly doing it. This was more to show that you can use it in Mod Podge than anything else. I'm just getting some of it mixed just so it's mixed. I'm gonna pull you off, bring you back up for a minute. Hi, Dawn. Hi, Sandy. Hey, now. So, so here's the the yellow, and it's not showing, but it is a pale yellow, and that's a pink color, and that's more of an orange sherbet, and then literally I just dabbed it. And we'll let it dry and see what it does. So. And those that just joined. 
we used uh, glow powders and nail polish and we painted the eyes to glow red and we painted the spider to glow orange and then we did this owl and we did yellow softball yellow for the outer ring and the inner eye unfortunately i can't find my uv light so i cannot charge them but after i get off i will i will charge them um and then i'll post what they look like so anyone that's trying to charge your glow I happen to have a standing light that is a um, fluorescent light and it works really well anyone that saw the photo of the of the cuff from last night glowing I charged it under that for about five minutes and then it glowed um, what doesn't work is an LED light because there's no UV in it sunlight always works purples are harder to get to glow um, than the blues, but other than that, the rest of them glow real easy. So we are going to, I'm going to go ahead and get off and I, like I said, I'll take pictures and show everyone and probably tomorrow night we're going to try glow powder in candle wax. I don't know if that's going to work or not. I have not tried it. So and I'm still trying to figure out the logistics because I don't have a microwave in here. So we have to figure out how to get the wax melted and have time to mix it before it cures. So that'll be the next. Hi, Tara. Um, and then this weekend I'll probably go live playing with various stuff. But next week we're going to do, I think, the micas. And we'll be doing micas in a cup or in epoxy, micas in sugar salt scrub micas in um you can use them in candle wax as a more of a melt um you can't use them in a big batch of wax it just doesn't they don't stay very well um they lose the color and if anyone else has ideas for the micas that we can try them on um one of the things that i'm going to try with is Part of it's going to be using micas. Micas can be used on a white background or a black background, and you get different you get different things from doing that. So we'll do a little experimenting with that and what have you. And micas will probably have a lot more lives next week on. And then the following week we'll get started on another powder. So I really hope this has been helpful for you guys. Um, it will be posted so you can go back and watch it. And then I will charge these and take pictures and post that as well. So thank you for joining me and we'll talk to you later. Good night.